Hi guys, it's Meenu. Welcome back to my channel, Story Tale. I want to make November as classic November. I want to read all the classics that I can in this month. I have been meaning to read many classics for a very long time, but of course, with the other books, I am not able to read many. That is why I wanted to make this month as a classic November because there are so many classics that I want to catch up to. Next month is going to be December and it's going to be Christmas time. So, of course, I'm going to be reading books that are based on Christmas. But November, I totally wanted to dedicate to classics. I want to make this an yearly thing. I may try the same thing next year and year after that. Let's see if this month is successful or not. I have read a few classics before and some I've hated and some I've loved. So, I wanted to give it a try again and see if I'm into classics or not. Now, without wasting any more time, let's see all the books that I'm going to read in this month. The first book that I want to read is Nirmala by Premchand. Premchand is one of my favorite Indian authors. I have grown up reading his stories and I've always loved them. And Nirmala is a story that I've read before and I actually liked it. It is kind of a social commentary on the condition of women in India. Our main protagonist, as the name suggests, is Nirmala. And what are the injustices that happens to her is the basic of this story. This is a story that is very close to my heart because, of course, it's going to be very nostalgic when I read it. I wanted to give it a try in Hindi in its original language. That is why I picked this up. It's been so long since I've read anything in Hindi and I'm really excited to read this one. The second book that I want to read is Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Who does not know about this book and the love story? It's one of the classics. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows the story. It is like the same story like any other, you know, classic love stories. But anyway, I wanted to give this play a try too. I did try to read it before, but somehow I was not able to complete it. So I want to give it a try again and finish it this time. The next book that I'm going to read is Dracula by Bram Stoker. How many times have I wanted to read this book? I have been after this book for like a year now. I've been meaning to complete this book for such a long time now. And the saddest part is that this is not a bad book. This is an actually good book. I really enjoyed reading it. But somehow I was not able to finish it because I had other commitments. But anyway, this month I'm going to finish it. If not, I'm just going to leave this book altogether. Because this is such an amazing story and I'm not doing justice to it. From whatever I've read about this book, this book has a very nice way of storytelling. I really loved how the author has actually written everything especially there's this line that i'm gonna say it is a very scary scene but the way it has been written it sounds very sensual but it's not it's very scary scene let me read it to you it's at the back of this book because this is one of the main lines and it is kind of scary but again it just feels very sensual i could feel the soft shivering touch of the lips on the super sensitive skin of my throat and the hard dance of two sharp teeth just touching and pausing there I closed my eyes in a languorous ecstasy and waited, waited with beating heart. This does sound a little bit sensual. It is kind of very sexy kind of writing. But this is a very scary scene because I have already read this line in this para. But again, that is the beauty of writing. It can make you mesmerize by lines and everything, but it can be scary at the same time. The next book that I'm going to read is The Guide by R.K. Narayan. A movie of the same name has already been made and I'm not so sure that I've seen the movie or not. I cannot remember it. I have seen so many Devanand movies that I could not recall which one is which. I'm not so sure that I have seen the movie or not. But if this book is going to be good, I'm going to see that movie too. From what I can read from the synopsis of it, it seems like I've seen this movie. I'm not so sure. But anyway, I want to give this book a try and see if I love it or not. The next book that I'm going to read is... The Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I've been meaning to read this book for a very long time because I've heard so many good things about it. It was in my syllabus when I was doing my master's for English. But it was in only paras and something. I didn't completely read that book. I just read a few summaries of it. And from what I read, I actually loved it. This is a love story between Catherine and Heathcliff. It is more of a like tragic love story. Not everything good happens between them. There are so many things that happen. Life gets in the way. So that is the basic theme of this book. There's a quote from this book which is my absolute favorite. I always quote it because I actually love it. The quote is, He's more myself than I am. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. If you have seen the movie after, then you know that this quote has been referenced so many times in that book. And I actually heard it from them the first time. I googled it and then I found out that that quote is from this book. And from this book, this kind of intrigued me. The story did intrigue me a little bit when I was doing my master's. 
but I was not able to complete it. That is why I'm really excited to read this book this month. The next book that I'm going to read is the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I do not know much about this book. I have heard a little bit about it and it is one of the classics, but I do not know much about the story. Though I think the movie Easy A, which featured Emma Stone, I think that movie is based on this. Do let me know if that is true or not, because I have seen the letter A that was kind of sewed onto the dress of Emma in that movie. And in this book from the cover, I can see that there's this letter A that is here at the you know cleavage area so i do not know why maybe both of these things are the same but i do not know i have to google it and find out or you can tell me in the comments down below but anyway i'm really excited to try this book and i also like what is written at the back of this book let men tremble to win the hand of woman unless they win along with it the utmost passion of a heart it's an interesting quote i actually like it so i'm really excited to read this book the next book that i'm gonna read is Train to Pakistan by Kushwant Singh. This story is based during the partition of India and Pakistan in 1947. This is going to be a very dark story because of course it's going to feature uh, the events of 1947 and what happened at that time because of course there were a lot of bloodshed at that time. There were many things that happened which is very cruel, unkind and just not fair. The partition of 1947 was a very horrific time for India because even though we were getting our freedom from British, but still India was divided into two parts. The northern western part of India was partitioned as Pakistan. And after that, many incidents have happened between the two countries. I do not want to delve into that. But anyway, it was a very horrific time. There were a lot of bloodshed. There were a lot of killing, mass killings and everything. So it was a very difficult time for India and Pakistan. So this book is going to be very difficult to read because I know about those dark times. But anyway, this is a classic November month and it could not be completed without this one. There are more three books that I want to read but I'm not so sure if I'm gonna be able to complete it but still I want to keep it in my library so if I get time I finish it the first book is Minai's Children by Salman Rushdie the story is of Salim Sinai who was one of the 1001 children that were born at the midnight of India's independence. Every kid that was born at the strike of 12 at midnight of India's independence was born with a unique set of talent or skill. How Salim uses his gifts at the background of 20th century India is the basic theme of this book. This is a very interesting plot. That is why I wanted to give it a try. And if I get time, I will pick it up. The second book is very controversial, Lolita by Vladimir Novakov. I've been meaning to read this book for a very long time because again it is a very controversial book that makes it a little bit interesting. I am actually not looking forward to a romantic relationship between a 32 year old and a 12 year old to be honest that is gonna creep me out but anyway I have really heard praises about this book because it has a very interesting wordplay and I'm really into that. That is why I want to give this book a try and at least pick it up and read few pages so that I know that I am comfortable with this book or not. The next book is basically an epic poem of Dante, The Divine Comedy. Inferno is a very famous prose of this epic poem. This is gonna be a tongue twister. The Divine Comedy describes Dante's descent into hell with Virgil as a guide, his ascent of Mount Purgatory, an encounter with his dead love Beatrice, and finally his arrival in heaven. Examining questions of faith, desire and enlightenment, the poem is a brilliantly nuanced and moving allegory of human redemption. As the synopsis suggests, this is going to be a very description of hell and what happens there and all the sins and everything. Again, it's a very interesting theme and I'm really excited to read this one. Again, this is a very epic poem, so it's going to take me a very long time to actually understand it because classics are basically written in old English and English is not my first language. It is my second. So, of course, I'm going to take a little bit time to understand all of this and the last three books I may not get time to actually finish it but anyway I'm gonna try to finish as many books as possible because not many of these books are very long so if I'm really very much dedicated I may be able to finish it but I doubt that very much because I know myself anyway I'm gonna bring reviews of all the books that I've listed here at least the ones that I'm gonna read until then do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified of my future videos see you soon next time